Hello and welcome. My name is Richie and today I've got a good little video for you on opening a lot of different things that I've collected over the last week or so. Um, now, to list them out, I hope you're ready for it. I'll try and do it as quickly as I can. We're going to be opening a gift box from Delicate Masks, two Mana Flame chests, a Bonfire chest, a Gem box, a Goblin Small Essence chest, Elder Davin's gift, Mariel's gift, Mamehorn's Horn, Clador's Scaly Spikes, and I'll also be using two token shards, as I have just recently started doing the guild hunt, as I did say I would do. Um, now, why have I only just started? Well, it's because I've just joined a decent guild. So, firstly, let's take a look at the guild I've joined, in case you're curious. The guild name is Unknowns. Um, it's one of the guys that helped me make a video on Ash Fort, so the real Ross C. Um, got chatting with him a lot and then realised that actually this guild would be quite fun to join. Um, so that's who I'm with now. I spent all of today uh, doing various different team raids with them. Um, and being a part of the guild, it just allows me to take it up to the next level of content um, and go in, into the team raids in a bit more depth without having to do it with a bunch of random people. So it just means it's easier for me to make the videos. Um, the other thing I want to touch on just quickly before I go into opening everything is in the last video, you would have saw me uh, forging the level 50 ring. Um, now, if we go onto the ranking system and look at the ring, you can see that I currently have the best ring on the server with regards to equipment rating. I wouldn't say it's the actual best, uh, not for my class anyway. Although it's good, everything is beneficial, you'll see on here, but what I would like to have in place of the vitality, and just remember that vitality raises your hit points by 15 for every one point, instead I would like to replace that with agility, um, as I'm obviously a DPS ranger, I'm a scout, so that would be much better for me. Anyway, Let's get stuck into opening everything. So if we just pull out the Mana Flame chests first, they're the most boring. Um, and then we go on to perhaps, hmm, what should we do? Maybe the gem box as well. Um, these gifts with gems as well. Uh, then the essence chest. Chances to get up to 500 essences there. I think I will open that last actually, just because if I do get 500, it's just going to be spamming for ages. Um, the spikes next, then the horn, um, the delicate mask as well, and we can use that to get the gift box, uh, bonfire chest, and then we'll use the token shards, and then like I said, finally the essence chest. So let's close the warehouse, and let's begin. So firstly the mana flame chests, Fairly boring stuff in here, it's just a case of getting different bits of Mana Flame equipment. Um, now I will be, I probably will just end up dismantling them. Oh okay, I actually got the set because I didn't have the cape before now. Um, I will most likely end up dismantling these pieces, uh, I don't really need them at all. Um, now let's go on to the gem box, what do we get? Okay, level 20 Dragon Eye. Now that went up to the top as I've got a collection here. Um, I'm saving up and making a few more diamonds now. Okay, let's go on to Elder Davin's Gift. So what do we get? A level 30 Jade Stone. Straight away we'll dismantle that for some silver. And next is a level 30 River Heart Stone. Good, good. Bit more silver there, 800,000. Um, and now let's open Mamehorn's Horn. What do we get? Okay, some Mystic Pauldrons as well. Alright, fair enough. So it is a good little... It is a good little few items that you actually get. Like I said, I've not really been doing the guild hunt, so that's, you know, I'm just not used to what you get in the boxes. Um, and then the pauldrons, I'll probably donate them uh, to get a bit of reputation. Now the scaly spikes. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible stuff. What can we do with that? Absolutely nothing. Right. Now let's go on to quickly use these delicate masks. So I can only use three of them unless I get another one. But we'll exchange this for a gift box. Hopefully we'll get another um, lump sum of gold. 
Everyone knows that I quite like getting that from the gift pack. So there we go. And what will it be today? Let's have a look. And use, ah, 12.8k gold. I'm happy with that. Normally it's 8.8k. Obviously I would love a legendary, but hey, let's not be too greedy. Um, and now the next thing, the bonfire chest. Got this from the guild bonfire today for getting lucky on a roll. And I get five magic stones. Okay, none of, none of these things yet are too exciting, but there we go. Now let's use this token shard. I've never used one before, so I'm not sure what will happen. So let's use it. Okay, so it just, there we go. Just shows that I've used it. Okay, which gives me plus one attack as well. So yeah, that, this is exactly why I've been doing the um, guild hunt, why I wanted to get stuck into it, is because it raises your stats. So that one was attack, it raised. And now Clodar, or Clodar, what do we get here? We get, does it tell me? Okay, so crit resist plus 2%. I mean, that's huge, you know, that sort of thing really does start to stack up. You can see the assess rate and increase in increasing by around 200 points already just from those two. And that's only one day, so it's, um, it's really worth focusing on. Now, the last thing is the Goblin Small Essence Chest. Oh, God knows. If it's 500, then it's just going to be going on forever. Forever. I don't know if it's going to tell me straight away. Let's use it. Okay, and... Oh, okay, so it's just those. So, really, I think you only get 10 in each of them. So, yeah, we'll just use it. Yeah, I think that's just a case of getting about 40 of them then. So, that's nothing too exciting. But you will see this uh, spamming through. Now... I've set myself a little goal. I would really like by the end of tomorrow to have another DPS guide out there, um, moving up to sort of the 8K DPS, which is what I had said about previously. Um, it's something that I know a lot of people want to see, so uh, I'll look to get straight on that. Um, now, equipment. What was the other thing? I did upgrade my Soul Sunder Quiver as well, uh, which has gone up now to grade 224. Um, the other thing, I did also buy a Soul Sunder helmet. I actually made a video on that and with the upgrades and everything, but I just don't feel it's what people want to see again, another Divine Upgrade video. If you do, I'll put it out there, but if not, then I'll just leave it. Anyway, well, that concludes this video. As usual, there are a few suggestions on the screen now if you'd like to watch. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon and goodbye.